This video was created to raise organ donor awareness and to help increase organ donor registry rates, not only within Alberta, but throughout Canada. Within a small community of Fort Chipewyan and a population of approximately 1,200 residents resides many people who are waiting, who have received and who have cared for people waiting for organ donors. Like so many people in the world, we are capturing their stories to show the reality of how important organ donation is. It takes me a little over an hour to have a shower because once I start coughing and coughing, you know. <coughs> she needs the concentrator to go to the bathroom. Um, basically everything like to bath her. It takes me a long time to get dressed. Or do you want to stay on this one for a bit? And then she sits there for a couple of minutes because she's all out of breath. When they did all the tests and everything, found out my lung was hardening. They didn't know how. I was on the list for lung transplant. They took me off the list because of my age. I was angry. I was shocked, I was hurt, I was mad, I cried. Now it's no more for me. If everything's fine and dandy and everybody thinks that it'll never happen to me and you know, it's one of those cases where you just think, you know, I'm fine, everything's healthy and all of a sudden you get, you know, slammed with the news from either your doctor or whoever in my case it was the optometrist saying hey you got a this disease and you go up and you do some research on it and you're like wow it's it's a little bit bigger than I originally thought and then you start you know educating yourself and your, your family gets educated on it just to prepare right and you don't really take it seriously at the time I don't I don't feel but now that uh, once it worsens and it starts affecting your day-to-day -day life then you start you know give yourself a reality check and it's like wow this is serious right and you only got two eyes so for me, it's uh, that's that's we all. Go up. My name is Nathan Whitenife. I I diagnosed with uh, eye disease called Kernaconus. Eventually, you know, if it. Uh, the disease worsens, I will be blind. Technically, right now I'm not on the organ list, but I potentially will be if uh, this, my disease uh, worsens. I've been on transplant, this will be nine years going on 10 in March. I've been waiting for a transplant for just about nine years. They phoned me up at uh, two o'clock. We phoned the nurses to, to get the plane down here. It took two hours for the plane from Peace River to come here. We went to the airport and we were heading to Edmonton. So it only took an hour from Fort Chip to, to Edmonton. So from there, they had the ambulance there. They took me right away to U of A. And by three o'clock, they already had me all getting ready for my operation for my kidney transplant. You know, that's voices. <laughs> the kidney transplant did wonders for me. I couldn't travel. I couldn't do anything. Now I have. A, I got my kidney. That's the best 
worst depression I ever had in my life. <laughs> I couldn't carry my grandchildren because of my, my dialysis, but now I can carry my, my babies now, and this is what I just love. Now, like I'm going to be 70 uh, this year, and I got another 10, maybe 20 years still hope. My name is Joyce Tuckero. I donated one of my kidneys. Uh, it was on the right side. I had Berger's disease, it's called. It's, uh, I said my grandfather had the same, it's the same disease I had. It was hard seeing him suffer. Like he would be laying in bed, freezing, shivering, uh, getting sick, running to the bathroom and getting sick. Uh, and then I'm sitting outside are standing outside listening to him and there was just nothing I could do like seeing him like that. I watched him having to do home dialysis and it used to break my heart because he always used to end up getting infections. My name is Bill Tuckeroo. I had two kidney transplants, one in 1994 I got uh, the kidney from my mother. I thought it was bra very brave of my mother to do that. How she, she kind of, how, how she kind of gave him life twice. Oh, I felt great when I got to it. The first time I got an organ, the first feeling when it started to work in my body was I felt good, felt really, really good. And when my mother gave him the kidney, uh, he was good for six years and then it went back into the same track where he was getting home dialysis and getting infections and I didn't know how long it was, he was going to wait to wait for a kidney and it would have been too late if I didn't go through with giving him my kidney. What made me want to donate a kidney is I didn't want my brother to die. Family is more important than anything in this world. That's what there is, so there is no thought, no fear, no, no hesitation. Uh, within, I think, three months, everything was set. The date was set for the organ. And 2000, I got another kidney transplant from my younger sister, Joyce. I had absolutely no fear. No fear. Holy man, that's... when she gave me a kidney 15 years ago, it changed my life uh, quite a bit. You know, it. Uh, it makes me think more about, uh, about life. Life is too precious. My husband was just lucky to have two transplants and he's still going like strong today. I would say to anybody, if they have a chance to give an organ or a tissue, they should do it because they're going to they're going to help another person that that needs it more. There's just a lot out there and there's a lot of people that can help but they don't know they're some of them are stuck in their own ways, their own beliefs. Most of the natives should try to be a a donor. I signed the registry and and like um like I said it's it's to help to help save a life if I can. And I used to say, boy, I wish there were more people who would donate. Once you're gone, you can save a life if your organs are good for someone else. It's, it's not that something's gonna happen to you in the next little while. It may never happen for another 20 years. Maybe by then my organs won't be any good, but at least if they are, you know, even the stem cells or any, anything that can help will help. They're no good to me if I'm dead, I said, <laughs> I can share, right? Whoever gave me this kidney, I thank him from the bottom of my heart because I have a different life now that, was, you know, that I didn't have for 10 years. Now I can go places and do things and travel and be with my grandchildren, stay a little longer with my grandchildren. This is my heart, my grandchildren and my family. I can stay with them for a little longer, you know? 
Even 10, 10, 15 years would be just beautiful. Well, I currently have a, I have a young family, a, you know, a 12-year-old, 9-year-old, and a 2-year-old. And pretty much uh, if it worsens in worst case scenarios, I won't be able to see them grow up or see any of my grandkids and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's been pretty important to me that, uh, you know, people are educated and uh, corneas are donated or, or any type of organ. Uh, Don't be afraid to uh, give one of your organs because if you take care of yourself when you're younger and if you're able to okay. donate one of your organs to a family member or a stranger, there, there is no, uh, okay, we'll see you then. Okay, see you. See there's you no loss within your body because you're able to function with what you have. When you sit there and the optometrist tells you that uh, people, there ain't enough, there's a corneal shortage out there. It just shows that people aren't educated on, you know, a cornea, just take a little bit of shaving off your eye and then somebody else could see, right? Absolutely no difference. The only thing, I get cold feet and it was too late. I already gave it, no. But that was the only difference that I noticed with my body after I gave him one of my kidneys is my feet got cold all the time. And prior to that, I never, my feet weren't cold. That was the only physical difference that I noticed about my body. Uh, prior to being diagnosed with this disease, I wasn't, educated much on uh, the organ donor list. I pretty much, you know, just thought of the Alberta healthcare card and signed the back. But now after the disease, I, you know, have more understanding that I am a recipient. So I wish people will donate. So if everybody just goes out and gets on the list and, and at least you're sitting there, it's, it's no cost to you, it's no cost to your life. And if you're, you know, proactively go in there, you may be able to save a life and change other people's lives, right? So now it's going on 15 years with this transplant. I wasn't one of the lucky ones, I guess. Every day I get up, I pray and say thank you for a good night. You know, and the last thing I do at night is I pray again for my kids, my grandchildren, to have a good life and not to be in the same boat as me.